And welcome back. I'm here with Bonzi Colson, member of the Notre Dame men's basketball team, the first ever team to win the ACC championship in men's basketball. Bonzi, congratulations on a great season. We're going to talk about it in just a minute. But first, the life of a student athlete is that uh, you're constantly bouncing between class and basketball. I know you just came from a class. Where were you at? I was at Human Ethology up at D-Bar. Uh, it was a great class with uh, Professor McKenna. Before we talk about basketball, I want to talk about how you came to come here to Notre Dame. Tell me where you grew up and why you ultimately decided to come here to Notre Dame. Uh, well, I was born in Upper Marlboro, uh, Maryland, and um, at George Washington Hospital, was my dad was coaching GW at the time, and then he got a coaching job at BC, and then I moved to New Bedford, Massachusetts, and ever since then I live there. And um, you know, basketball—I was raised into playing basketball. My dad's been, uh, you know, a basketball coach, you know, my whole life, and you know, it's a game I love to play. Now you're a young guy on this team, and you didn't play a whole lot of minutes early on, and then all of a sudden, Zach had to miss a game. You get thrust in the spotlight. You, you make your first start and play big minutes in a big game. Take us through that moment, what it was like for you. I was just excited, excited to go out there and play you know, the game I love, man. You know, uh, played against Miami. You know, I go, remember going over the scout report, just being <laughs> ready and prepared you know, to play against them. Though they were a talented team. Uh, I'm just really happy just to go out there and play the game again. Great season for you guys. A lot of monumental wins. You beat Duke and Carolina back to back yeah. to win the ACC title. What was that like? Uh, it's amazing, man. I remember um, when we played Duke, all the North Carolina fans were rooting for us. And then when we <laughs> played North Carolina, all the Duke fans were rooting for us. So it was kind of weird. But, you know, it was amazing atmosphere. It was loud. You know, the crowd was going crazy. You know, the Irish fans, you know, was loud as well. It was just a great atmosphere. And the whole world was cheering for you guys when you played Kentucky in the Elite Eight. It was an amazing game. You almost had them, but a tremendous run to the tournament. What was that experience like, just that whole tournament run? Uh, it, was, it was amazing, you know, just to be able to play, you know, in the Elite Eight against Kentucky, a great team. You know, they have great players, you know, just to be able to play again. And, you know, because all about surviving, surviving in advance, you know, advancing is most important. We did that. When you take the best team in the country down to the wire like you guys did in Kentucky and, and it comes right down to that final possession and it doesn't go to your way, how does that motivate you for next year through this offseason? Oh, man, it just motivates me a lot and the whole team just to get better. You know, we know what it takes to get there now. You know, we're in the weight room being focused, you know, training uh, with the coaches, just being ready. You know, we want to go out there, you know, do what we did and do what we did better. You guys lose two really big players in Pat and Jaron, but a lot of you guys coming back next year. What do we expect from the Irish in next yeah, season? You know, hopefully the same thing and more. We know what it takes <laughs> now. So, uh, you know, let's do it. We're ready. All right, Bonzi, it's always a pleasure talking to Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good luck next year. Again, Thanks. that's Bonzi Colson of the Notre Dame men's basketball team.